Yo, what's good, y'all? Jared Emanuel back at it again with another YouTube video, baby. As promised, as promised. We got a little bit of a American football. I like to call it football. So we got a little bit of a football explosive slash power athletic workout that will help you increase your speed, your vertical jump, and your overall sports performance. So the goal is to always ball out on the field, man. I'll throw in some of my highlights. I'll show you, man. I, I'll show you what, I know what I'm talking about, bro. I was a beast. I'm not even gonna cap to y'all. I was a beast, bro. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put my clips right here. I'm gonna send them to my sister. She's gonna post them. Y'all gonna see that. I just made plays. And this is what you guys gotta do so you guys can make plays too. guys for tuning in we're about to get a little bit of uh, a field work session in then we're gonna go into the weight room this is what it takes to be a great athlete you have to put that work in man you have to put the work in on the field you have to put the work uh, the working in the weight room you have to like and a combination of both of those like you'll just be nothing but great but yeah let's get to the workout I might not even be able to hear me but you gotta always start with the dynamic warm -up. you know what athlete you guys need to be doing with dynamic warm up every single day bro damn near Every single day, besides on that one rest day. Honestly, even on that rest day, you probably should get it in. But yeah, you guys always gotta prime your glutes, prime your quads. Damn, this boy's trying to eat. Prime your glutes, prime your quads, your hamstrings, everything. Because we don't, we like, longevity is important. Like, injury prevention is important. And it's just, you have to do it. You have to. So right now, I'm just priming my glutes, squeezing my glutes. Pushing out my knees. You guys gotta get these bands, bro. Athlete warm up bands. Essential, essential. You feel me? I'm at my old college, man. My college I graduated from. University of Redland, baby. Got my degree from here. And it's a really nice campus. It's a really nice campus. We got a great facility here. Shout out Redlands, man. I wish I stayed here at Redlands all four years, but it is what it is. I played my senior year here. I came home due to personal reasons. Yeah. Now we out here again, bro. I haven't been back in a minute. Coming back just to say what's up to the coaches. Fill it out. These are my favorite. We got single leg rapid cycles. Right here. Then we got a Dion with a single leg cycle. We're gonna go 10 yards one way, then switch all the way back. After that, we got the double cycle. We're almost done, y'all. Y'all should be sweating at least a little bit. At least a little bit. Next, we're gonna get, we're gonna get into some build-ups. Just get all that warm-up, put it into play, and get our legs really firing to where we can run fast. So right now, we're gonna hit our build-ups. We got 70% effort, 80%, 90%. 100% though. 
We're gonna go 40 yards, 30 yards, 20 yards, 10 yards. First one, 40 yards, 70% effort. Don't cheat yourself. Be great. Don't cheat yourself. Be great. Don't cheat yourself. Hey, be great. So we got 80% effort, 30 yards, baby. I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. It takes a lot of effort to play college, college football. And that's what I'm trying to prepare y'all for. I'm trying to prepare y'all for the, the top. Like, in the NFL, if you wanna make it there, or like professional leagues, they probably do more than this. Nah, they probably do around the same as college. But it's a grind, man. And it's all about how bad you really want it. And it starts with your mental, bro. You have to, like, you really have to want it, bro. You have to want it. And if you don't want it, you're wasting your damn time, bro. Like, you have to be locked in with your diet. You have to be locked in with your sleep. You have to be locked in with the grind. You have to be locked in with the playbook. You have to be, you have to, you just, you just got to bring that energy every day. Every single day, bro. For four years. It's really how bad you want it. You gotta meditate. You gotta visualize yourself making plays. You gotta do all these things, bro. A lot comes with it. So before you even play football in college, ask yourself if you, if you can do these things even. If you're even capable of doing these things. If you're in high school, if you're younger, just mentally prepare yourself for the future. Mentally set yourself up for greatness. And this is what it's gonna take. So keep working and yeah, let's get back to the workout. We're almost done with the warm up, y'all. We got uh, 90% 20 yards. So from the 50, to the 30, 90%. The last one we got, we got 100% effort, 10 yards. The first thing we got for the actual workout, we got 30 yard acceleration, we got three sets. We're gonna rest two minutes in between each. And yeah, give it your all, man. For these accelerated 30s, you want to make sure that you have really long and powerful steps. And the first 10 to 12 yards um, is, is very important because basically we're just creating force. We're, all the force that we produce in the weight room and create in the weight room, right now we're putting it into play. So all that force that we, like I just said, that we generate, we're now generating it in our runs. So we have to combine both of them together to get the most optimal results to increase your speed, your vertical jump, and your overall sports performance. Uh, it's really important, these first 10 to 12 yards, because that's what, gets the, that's what gets the car going. You know what I'm saying? Zero to 30, man. Zero to 60. How fast can, how fast can you get to zero to 30, man? And that's gonna roll over into your top end speed. So however powerful and however much force you produce in the beginning, it's gonna really play a role in your top end speed too. So. You just, gotta, you just gotta be powerful. And right now we're just doing zero to 30, basically. It's like a car, the zero to 60 challenge that everybody hears about, like how, how fast can this Lamborghini go from zero to 60? It's kind of like us right now, human form. How fast can we go zero to 30? And it's really about our force output. So just being able to produce force horizontally. And the more force you can produce horizontally, the faster you'll get. So the next thing we got, we got flying 10s. All a flying 10 is really, Let's say we start at the 40. So a flying sprint is 100% effort from the 40 to the 50. But me, personally, I like to, I mean, I feel like everybody should do this. Start at the 30, get full sprint. You should be full sprint at the 40, and then run a full 100% effort from the 40 to the 50, and that's all a flying 10 is. I love flying 10s, man. We got four of them. We're gonna rest about a minute 30 to two minutes and 30 seconds after each one. So let's get it. Let's get fast. Let's be great. Don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Hey. Ah. One thing people need to understand about getting faster is you don't have to put a lot of effort in like you think. Like some, sometimes people think more is better, but in reality, that's not, that's not true at all. So we're really only gonna be doing like probably two or three uh, exercises on the, on the turf. And then we can go in the weight room, probably do like four or five exercises in the weight room. Perfect combination, man, to becoming a better athlete. And I'm just figuring this out for myself, to be honest. Like all the research I've been doing, shout out Les Spellman, shout out PGF Performance. Y'all are really goaded, man. Like y'all really helped me 
when it comes to this whole bouncy and speed thing. And for the weight room wise, I don't know, shout out Alex, shout out Gianni, and shout out people like that. They they uh, helped me do more research, like figuring out like the hex bar, hand cleans. I mean, I knew all this stuff just from playing in college and like my strength and conditioning coaches like teaching me. Shout out Rob. But uh, yeah, I love this shit, man. I love putting on for y'all and yeah, let's get better today, baby. Let's go. So the last thing we got before we hit the weight room, we got fly float fly. So it's usually in a span of 40 yards. Again, kind of like the flying 10. I like to start 10 yards back and get a full sprint to that first 10. So we're gonna run sprint 10. We're gonna float 10 at like 90 to 95% effort. And then that last 10, we're gonna fly 100% effort. And that's where the speed's made, baby. That last 10, bro, you really gotta be a dog, you feel me? So we're gonna start at the 40 and run through the goal line. So a little bit of a background behind me. I played football my whole life, to be real with you. I played my freshman year of high school. I, I didn't play my sophomore year. I was a little burned out from sports. And the moment football season started, regretted it instantly. Junior year, played on varsity, senior year of varsity. And then I ended up going to a junior college for a couple years. And I balled out there. I didn't get any scholarships. I mean, I got a couple scholarships, but not to like, I wanted to go D1. And I'm a little small. I was a little small, around six foot. I was like, bro, like 200 pounds. And I played linebacker, bro. Like, I was a linebacker, as you guys are gonna see in this video. I'm gonna throw some of my highlights up. I was a linebacker that picked shit off, took it to the house, you feel me? I mean, I, I forced some fumbles too, bro. I could bring that, bro. I, I bang, bro. I think I bang, bro, to be real. But, uh, after my junior college, I tried to walk on University of Hawaii. Shit didn't work out. And I ended up going to Mississippi Valley State. Absolutely hated it there. I met a lot, I met a few great people there, but just it was not my vibe. The school was not my vibe. I definitely did not want a degree there. They did not take shit serious there. And then shit happened with my dad that maybe I can get into another into it another time, but I ended up coming back home, University of Redlands. I was, I was a little pretty depressed at Mississippi Valley, bro. Like, literally, I felt like I was in prison. Every time it would rain, my, my dorm would flood, shit like that. And again, another story for a different time. But uh, yeah, then I ended up graduating from here, University of Redlands, man. A great education. Uh, got my business degree. And yeah, I wish I played here all three years, to be real. And I wish, like, and I, I definitely recommend that to anybody else. Like, just, just stay at a place, try to find a place that you truly love for college and just stick it, like ride it out because you can create great relationships, great friendships. And I, I feel like I wasn't able to do that as much because obviously I, I hopped around, hopped around, hopped around, hopped around instead of just believing in myself and just, you know what I'm saying, just staying at one place and just taking, taking over and just balling out. And that's really the goal. You just gotta get to a place and just ball out. like. And that's what these workouts are going to help you do. They're going to help you run faster and jump higher. And usually if you're more athletic, you'll perform better. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you study the playbook. Especially if you study your opponent well. you got to put the work in, man. Like, your diet. Everything's got to be right, bro. And I wish I knew all this shit. I wish I knew all this shit. That I know now, back then. But it is what it is. Now I can help y'all fall out. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully football athletes get better. Honestly, any athlete can do this workout, but it is more beneficial for an American football athlete. Next week, we got a little bit of a basketball bounce and agility workout. The reason I'm doing this bounce and agility basketball workout is because of this comment right here. So if you want to see your sport, let me know what sports you do. Let me know what you guys want to see. Comment down below. And yeah, let's take this shit to the top, baby.